Now today is BC Budget Day in the uh, province of British Columbia, February 22nd, 20, well, 2024. Yeah, um, <laughs> where do I begin? Uh, for persons with disabilities, there was zero dollars. Zero dollars in the BC Budget. That's right, zero dollars. The cost of living has gone up right through the roof and it keeps on going up. I don't know who's not suffering in this province or across our beautiful country, but today was BC Budget Day and it was an opportunity for the government to uh, well, do something in the budget to help people uh, with low income, uh, in, I mean, individuals, uh, seniors, people with disabilities. But, uh, well, individuals with disabilities, there was nothing there to help. Uh, not even a penny. Not even a penny, not even a crumb. Uh, rent increase, uh, I got a rent increase. Uh, that comes in effect, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Uh, it comes in effect in short uh, short time. And um, I don't know, do I give back the uh, the notice back to the landlord? I, I'm not sure what to do here on this. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I've never come across uh, not having a uh, an increase in the budget to not give my landlord uh, for an increase. They, See, they give an increase, meaning that there should be something in the budget that should actually offset that cost. Just that's just for rent. What about the cost of living, though? Uh, yeah, I mean, so I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to cut back on internet, or I don't know. If I cut back on internet, I, I can't do my advocacy. So unless I go to the public library, uh, I, I don't know if I can actually do that filming in the library um, to do my advocacy work. Uh, to fight for persons with disabilities, their lived experience stories that I do every week on my podcast. Yeah, PWD Allies podcast is uh, is the YouTube. Uh, you know, look it up on YouTube. That's the podcast I do every week. I bring on stories for people with disabilities, and we talk about these issues. And, and this issue today will be one of my top issues that I'll be doing uh, on my uh, podcast coming up. Uh, on Friday, this Friday, tomorrow, uh, the 23rd of February, is my 100th episode. Um, what a way to celebrate. Uh, <laughs> to celebrate my 100th episode of saying there was a $0 increase in the BC budget for persons with disabilities. The same thing that I fight for, to advocate for, for change. And yeah, there, there's an opportunity right now, folks. So I encourage you when you're watching this video, um, you know, uh, it, just go on your social media and let the government know that you need to uh, increase the rates. I mean, here's an opportunity. This is a pre-budget before the election time in BC. Uh, I believe it's October 19th of 2024 is next provincial election. Here's an opportunity to let them know that to increase the rates between now and before they drop the uh, the writ to call an election. Right? Watch the. Watch the campaigns. Uh, who's going to be talking about persons with disabilities on their platform? And, and not just talking, but doing. Who's going to actually do, um, like, who's going to do, uh, uh, you know, the right thing about increasing the rates? Every year, a predictable amount. And it should be tied to inflation. No less than the, than a standard of income per year. I, I'm just, I'm just uh, astonished that there was nothing in the budget for persons with disabilities. I'm, I'm still baffled. I mean, what about seniors? Seniors who have disabilities. No media, no media likes to talk about that. No government likes to talk about that. And to have nothing in the budget? I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm serious about that when I say, do I tell my landlord, hey, uh, here, Oh, oh, you know what? Here's the gift back. You gave me a gift about a rent increase. Do I send it back and say thanks? Thanks anyway. But if I do that, guess what? Then I'm homeless. So, like I said, I'm going to have to cut back and I don't know where else to cut back. And if it is cutting back on uh, internet, um, I will do my best to reach out to, um, to my fellow advocates and other disabled people, and I'll let you know in advance of what my decision will be on that. Um, I just don't know, um, I have to figure out where else I can cut back. I can't cut back on food. Uh, you know, cost of food's going up. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, stay tuned. 
um, I just want to give everyone an update and this is how my my opinion on how I feel right uh, I'm sure other people are going through the same thing right now uh, they're probably shocked uh, it's, a, it's a missed opportunity and I know that the government can actually do better by fixing this uh, maybe they mistakenly forgot I maybe honestly maybe they forgot to put that in the budget maybe that's what I'm thinking that maybe that might be uh, the thing that happened there they just forgot to make that announcement what about that renters rebate there was a $400 renters rebate that was promised yeah I didn't hear anything in the budget on that uh, but you know even if they do put that in that's a one-time shot deal uh, that's a $33 a month if they do that that doesn't even cover my rent increase that I got in a month so again uh, yeah <laughs> cost of living is up 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 nothing in the budget so, um, yeah, I guess uh, that will be it for today. Um, at least, you know, at least what? I think the sun's out. It's nice and sunny out. So that brightens the day uh, in that way. Uh, birds are chirping. They're saying, yes, Brent, you're right. Advocate uh, for, for uh, you know, for better things to happen going forward. Um, you know, I, I just want to see people happy in this province. In this beautiful province we live in nobody should be living in legislative poverty nobody should be living below the poverty level and you know just to let people know that the the standard poverty level that and that's just a poverty level that's not even including somebody who has a disability the related expenses that go above that poverty that that poverty level and it's it's a magic poverty level number um, as that doesn't even cover your cost of your housing that's like the basket of goods and services. Um, yeah, the MBM, market basket measure. It doesn't cover the your, your full uh, monthly rent costs, right? So just remember that, uh, that formula, it covers a small, tiny portion of rent. The reality part, every British Columbian pay a lot more in rent. Try and find affordable housing. Where I live, I mean, um, <laughs> The housing is very expensive, right? If I move out, a new another tenant moves in, they're going to be paying a substantial rent increase. Right? So there needs to be something in, in, in control on that. I don't know. Some people say vacancy control. I, I don't have the magic answers to it. But there's, there's something has to happen here because there's going to be a lot more homeless uh, disabled people and seniors, people, low-income people in BC. Uh, something has to happen, but with an increase in the, uh, in the for people with disabilities in the budget. It was a missed opportunity that can be fixed. Let's make it happen. If you want to get a rally going, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll join you. A peaceful rally. Peaceful rally. Yes. Thank you.